Alright guys, this is ANC with another Tech It or Technic tutorial. Today we're, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a nuclear reactor. So, the first thing is, you're, I highly suggest you make your, out, um, your room that you're going to put your nuclear reactor in out of reinforced stone. Reinforced is made like this with stone and then advanced alloys. So, I will be back to you once I do this. So, uh, oh gosh, lag. Come on, let's get up here. There you go. So, the inner dimensions of this room is 5 by 5 by 5. So, it's a cube that has fives in it, pretty much. And the outer layer is thus 6 by 6 by 6. This is the room that I suggest that you make with these same exact dimensions. So, now we're going to be setting up our nuclear reactor. Reactor, sorry about that. My voice just, um, I don't know. Oops. My voice just, like, crackled or whatever. So right here, we have our nuclear reactor. You can run your, uh, your, um, your reactor or your energy power plant off of just off of sorry about that off of just this but if you want if you would like more space I highly suggest that you add these things right here these add their reactor chambers and they're made oh my gosh they're made exactly like this that's how you make it and the nuclear reactor is made like this with using two reactor chambers so if you would like to turn on and off your nuclear reactor I highly suggest you do you have some red alloy wire right here and you hook it up to that and then if you have a little switch here you can turn on and off your nuclear reactor okay but if you just wanna manually take all the the coolant cells and the reactor um, the uranium cells out of the nuclear reactor you can just take them out by hand so this is the design you can this is the only way you can do it with the, to have the uh, same output of to have all of the space. This is the only way you can do it. Okay. It is night time. I'm going to change that today. So you can either run a wire under the floor or you can do it the unsophisticated boring way like this. Oh darn it like that and then have that connect to your MFSU I highly suggest that you connect to an MFSU because that's the only one that's probably not going to explode on you um, so I highly suggest you use an MFSU and you make that well I, I don't know why it shows that you make that like this using an MFE and six Lavatron crystals so once we have the wiring done, what I like to do, which, which, uh, so you don't have to jump in the water every time you come in, because the water does cool it down. I like to put some glass like this, some reinforced glass. If this machine does explode, the glass will not explode. And the glass is made like this: two advanced alloys and glass. So, now, time to put the water in. Okay guys, I, I put all the water in the whole room, so this can be cooled. This part, it do really doesn't matter. You don't really need water here, just to be easy, just to be a little bit more convenient. So, what you do to set it up, this is what I like to do. I like to put this in the middle 
Uh, if you if you can hear that, you can hear that the nuclear reactor is already starting up. So you just put that in that same pattern, and I'll get back to you once I've done that. Okay, guys, I'm just finishing putting the uranium cells inside our nuclear reactor here. Done with that, and you can just walk out of here and just close the door. And if you can see, we're getting some power. So, this is the end of my tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment if this helped you. And if you have any more questions regarding this, please comment or message me. Thank you guys. Have an awesome day.